So from Sanctuary we need to access an entirely new area again, which is right over here. I ran into a wall because these cars still don't, well, drive like shit. So let's just gather a bit more ammunition before we go in there, because I think I kind of overspent my grenades while leaving the uh, bloodshot ramparts last time. But uh, let's go over here. You'll have to signal our man. I bet anything he's sleeping off a hangover, so you'll have to wake him up. The sound of some VAR kids burning alive at the same time ought to do it. You got a fire gun, right? Oh yeah, right, I forgot about the fire thing. Give me a second. So we definitely still have the fire sniper rifle, so I'm just gonna do that. And, you know, I'm gonna swatch, switch out the shotgun as well, because it's not gonna be as good, is it? So let's get the sniper rifle going. <gasps> Uh, we need to burn some uh, Varkids alive. We haven't seen Varkids yet. But I think there's a few of them right over there. I don't know why the game is pulling me over there. And this is also the place where we can do the mighty morphing side quest where we transform a Varkid into something horrifying. So, I'm just gonna see. Uh, I killed them in one go. Um, that's a problem. You know what? Can you just take my shield down? Ah, there we go. That's something to... There we go. Inject. Let's make him transform. Well done. Now, set some more on fire before that one dies. Ghosty. So we need to set three on fire at the same time. That's gonna work best with the... With the, uh, yeah, those guys. That's two. Oh, gold. This is gonna be harder than I thought it was gonna be. So that one is burning. That's the mutated one. The shotgun's gonna have to save me here. Please bring me a sample of that market's corpse. I just need a few more samples such as that. The same process as before, force them to cocoon, hit them with the injector, kill them. Good luck. There we go. We're gonna set a few of them on fire. This is a bad idea. I'm just gonna do this, because otherwise I'm gonna die. There we go. Because the Nova explosion has set multiples uh, on fire as well. So uh, there we go. Waking up the spy of Roland, which is none other than another familiar face if you've played Borderlands 1. Because this is uh, Mordecai, the uh, hunter character from uh, Borderlands 1, with his uh, favorite bird, wow. Bloodwing. So angry. It's a bit of an annoying quest. So dead. The burning alive thing, but uh, we're still, we still have problems. Wolf, huh? <clears throat> Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Sorry, I'm with you. I'm I'm just gonna let him kill me. There we go. There we go. Ooh! Ooh! Ah, oh, slack sniper rifle. That's nice. Easy, girl. So, I hear in train speed the Tundra Express. If my intel's good, and it usually is, the ball key itself might be. Nice. There we go. Get drunk. Pass out. <laughs> Without the vault key, Jack can't control the warrior. We gotta hijack that train, soldier. My old friend Tina can help. Go talk to her. So there we go. We need to hijack the Hyperion train that's blazing through this area so we can actually grab whatever is inside and get the vault key to, uh, well, control the vault. But Mighty Morphing, back to that. We need to kill four of those badass Farkets. Ooh, that's an... MIRV corrosive grenades. I'm gonna grab that. It's gonna come in nice. And a slag sniper rifle, we got that as well. Light Falcon. Hmm. A lot of weapons dropped from those badass Varkets, but uh, we killed most of them and we got a bunch load of experience from that as well. Which is probably one of the fastest ways to level, ways to level up at this point in the game, just to get the, the Varkets to give you, well, let them transform and then get the experience from the upgraded versions if you kill them all. But we're about to meet one of the best characters in the entire game, Tiny Tina. You might have heard of her, but uh, yeah, she's just she's just an amazing character. But we still have one more Varkin nest over here. So let's do that first. Stab a few of those injectors bolts if we can. 
gonna try and let, because uh, Mordecai is gonna help us out right now, so he's gonna use his slack sniper rifle to kill those off. But I want them to transform. He's not gonna let them do that if they don't. There, that one goes. So let's let that evolve. Well, that one as well. I wanna inject it. I wanna inject it. There we go. There we go. Attention, badass. So mutated badass Varkets. There we go. There we go. So let's collect those samples. I think there should be one more over here. There we go. Lovely. Return to me, please. There we go. Mighty Morphin complete as well. So we're fixing up those side quests in a rather efficient manner, if I say so myself. This thing reloads like a blazing train. Yes, I just used the train reference while I'm right next to a train. So that's probably because of that uh, that modifier that was on there. Because it said don't retreat, reload, which is fitting. Uh, I think Tina is in this mountain. Yeah, she's underneath that area. So let's go say hi to her. She's she's a lovely a lovely person. I think she's also holding a tea party at the moment. Hello. There we go. Thunder Patrol. Oh, what the hell did he drop? What was that? Ah, Data Lord, no hard feelings, so you've killed me. To murder is human, to forgive, divine. If you're hearing this, you just killed me. And let me just say, no hard feelings. Before you wasted me, I kept my best guns in my garage. Considering how badass you must be to have blown me away, I'd say you deserve it. I know this sounds like some sort of trap, <laughs> but you're just gonna have to trust me. So yeah, we killed uh, Will, Will the Bandit, and he says that he finds us so awesome because we killed him that we can have his stash of weapons. Which is nice of him, right? Definitely not the trap, and that was a mine. And there we go, let's just kill off those marauders here. What the hell are you doing? So, as you might have seen, if you jump on top of an enemy, you actually do damage as well, kind of like Mario. Which was a trophy in the first game, if I recall correctly. You kill an enemy by jumping on top of it. Hello, Tiny Tina. Let's get to her introduction, because uh, it's rather gruesome. All around the stag just plant, the stalker chased the bandit, the stalker thought was all in fun. Hop! World's deadliest 13 year old. Goes the bandit. Hello, Tiny Tina. Oh, hi. She's awesome. She's awesome. You either hate her or love her, but I love her. Rowan told me you were coming. I still owe him for all that butt crap with General Rancid. So you gotta hijack a train, huh? Just play. Let me introduce you to my So, explosive experts. And as you might notice, those scopes actually work. If I look at Tina, you can see Tina in the scope. This here's Mushy Snuggle Bites, and this is Felicia's Sexo Pants. These fine ass women could stop that train for you, but I'm gonna need their badonkadonks first, and they got stolen by the bandits a few days ago. Go get them! So she And she actually goes to sleep like that. I know Tina can be odd, but she's the most gifted demolitions expert on Pandora. Just do what she asks, and I guarantee she'll help you hijack the train and get the vault key. And there she goes. She woke. She woke up again. She woke up. Again. She's she's awake, Roland. What do I do with the little child that just blew up a bandit? I'm 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 scared. But yeah, we're gonna. I'm actually gonna sell a few things. So again, we have a few quests. We can either find the stash of Will the Bandit, which is what I'm gonna do first. And in the meantime, we can actually check out Tiny Tina's, uh, well, the Badonka Donks for her rabbits. <laughs> I don't know why am I saying that. That sounds so stupid. So if I recall correctly, the stash is pretty close to where we fought the first Varkets over here. So the Varkit branch is supposed to be over here somewhere, probably in the house. There we go. Look at that. It's a lovely weapon chest. Just in one go. Let's open that up. 
Definitely true. another trap. A freezing psycho. Look, he has a Canadian hat on. I don't know why. Uh, he's, he's supposedly not freezing. And there we go. Malate the hell out of these guys. So we're gonna get some bandits here. We're saying. Oh wow, the explosion killed that guy as well. So now we can turn that in, and I think we actually get something from that. So even though he completely failed to kill you twice, you've got to give the guy some credit for planning ahead. So there we go, we can choose... Ooh, the rocket torpedo actually does a lot of damage, but expands 4 ammo per shot. Might actually do that. So 4 ammo per shot means I can fire it 7 times without it needing to reload. And the shock shotgun is a in one, so it's not that great. So I'm going to go for the rocket torpedo. And yeah, let's check that out. So rocket torpedo instead of sniper rifle and then maybe the shock sniper rifle instead of the pistol. So now we have shock sniper rifle, the bandit shotgun and the torque assault rifle. So let's go check out the Badoka dogs now. So as you can see, this thing actually fires mini miniature rockets, which is going to be annoying if I want to hit something like a buzzard. Well, unless it flies that close, then it's going to be easy. Okay, it's going to suck. Just going to use it to uh, kill stationary targets. the hell is mushy snuggle buds? I'm just gonna run around with the shotgun a bit. There we go. And Mordecai is still helping us out which is great. And then just one, two, three, blammo! There we go. Just gonna grab the badonkadonks out of their position. I think there's one up there. Yes, Mordecai, you're great. You're great. You're stealing my targets a bit, but I shot him through the slag. I'm just gonna leave that there. Oh god. I think there's like a lot of dudes down there, and down there, and down there. Let's just all give them grenades. And there we have, the Badonkadonks are fucking rockets. I think this guy is gonna die. Is, isn't he? He's gonna die as he there he goes. So the buzzards kind of complicate things a bit. I think there was one elite marauder. There we go. It's not so elite to me. I think the other one is actually just downstairs, if I recall correctly. So let's just get grab the shotgun. There it is. There's another badonkadonk. Hi, buddy! <laughs> that was awesome. I love how mobile you are with this shield again. It's really, really snappy. It reloads really quickly. And for some reason, these guys are, have stopped firing at me. I don't know why. I'm just gonna check out because there is a weapons chest over here. Yeah, it's in the toilet. It's in the toilet over there. Yeah, bye. No scope, no problem. There we go. I think we're actually on top of the buzzard spawning spot, so they won't be spawning anytime soon now. But I think there's actually... Oh, I should have shut up. Should have definitely shut up. I think there's a way of getting up here to another weapons chest. 
It's all the way up top here. You can only access if you parkour a bit. There we go. We actually get five badass ranks for that as well. And there's grenades in here. And sniper rifle bullets. I don't really care about those. Jesus Christ. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Let's go down. And let's just uh, use the Badonka Domes. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna die. Yeah. And I can't do anything against that. Yep, dead. Where did those six buzzards come from? Holy crap nuggets. And the problem is, they're not gone. You know what? I'm just gonna try and leave. Look at that. Okay, that was... Oh, hi. Oh, that was that was the wrong button. Meant, meant to use that button. Oh, I leveled up. Kill all the Varkids. And that means we have another badass rank, or third one of my recording session, actually, which is gonna go into backstab. Although, follow through is cool as well. Because it just gives me 8% more melee damage, with it, but I get that with the follow through skill skill as well. So I'm just gonna go for that, although. Shooting an enemy increases the damage of your next melee attack, blah, 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 blah. Let's do that. We got three points into that immediately because of our class mods. Which is nice, I can also do something over here, elemental effect damage. Yeah, elemental effect damage, there we go. Badass rank completed. Wait, what? Fire melon? Ah oh, yeah, those are fire melons, so like the cactuses, they have their own special effects. But, return to Tiny Tina. So back into her workshop, which is actually filled with mines and explosive and shit like that. But, uh, let's talk to Tina. Hello, Tina. Awesome! Just a secco. This gonna be good. There's actually a really funny easter egg in Tiny Tina. Well, aside from the, the lovely picture with Roland here. Get your butt out of my workshop, man. I got to be alone. So she kind of has a lazy eye, which was originally a bug, but they decided to keep it in. Get out of my workshop, or am I gonna have to Because it just fit the character. It just fit the character, the lazy eye. Let's get out of the workshop. There we go. Put a little bomb in the hot ass and go blow stuff up and make people die. Squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Oh damn, you looking good, ladies. Let's get to work. Are you wondering what was squishy about attaching a rocket to a bunny? Take them. Take them, take them, take them. I will. There we go. And there we go. Just put my damsels near the choo choo track and set them up! Good plan, great plan. Good plan, great plan indeed. So let's put up Tina's damsels oh. right next to the train track, which is uh, conveniently right outside. It is positioned inside of a bandit camp, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah, they are. It is. What's that noise? I think the game is having an audio bug again, because it sounds like there's a train just rattling my chains constantly. Let's just toss in a few grenades. They still die of uh, from a level 7 grenade, don't they? I'm just gonna do this a bit. Seems like a great idea. Hello, buddies! Yeah, kill me. So I can kill you. Hi. Oh, he actually put his shield away at the correct time. And I freed the midget. Oop. There we go, cleared out the bandit camp in one fell swoop. That's not a cross mob for me, is it? Just gonna reload this bad boy. And get on top of the roof. But I think, I think it's that roof that also has... I'm sorry for the weird noises. It's not me that's rattling your chains. There we go, and then on top of the rock, on top of the roof, and there's another weapon chest over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is nice, definitely gonna swap that out. And it has a blade, I kinda missed it. Wait, how much? 
amount of damage is that? 50%, like the uh, the shock one I had, but of course, slower fire rate, but still, 14 is good. With the trusting hand cannon, that's gonna come in handy. A purple with a giant blade, we're gonna chop some bandits up with that. Well, this guy, I think he's, he's ascended, something like that. This bandit is just floating in midair. Can I actually interact with that? No. I don't think you can interact with corpses in Borderlands, which is actually something I wouldn't would expect in this game. Just gonna open up the toilet over here while it's still rattling the whole time. That's starting to get annoying. And I'm hoping it's gonna end when we set off the damsels. When we set up the damsels. Here's one. Here's another one. Just poke their bellies when you want me to set the explosives off. I gotta do it remotely. So, arm and arm. Oh snap, son. I hear the train coming. So I'm going to put myself over here. Ten, nine. And there you go. He's still up on that ice shelf. I'm gonna climb that wreckage to get there. Climb that ice to the train, or you'll go insane. What, what? That's a rap song I wrote. And there we go. That just blows up the train. And now we can go up that ramp and into that area, which is exactly what we're gonna do. <gasps> Because this is a small turning point in the game. So we're gonna go up to the train wreckage and get the vault key. And this area is called end of the line, Such fittingly. The Probably keeping the vault key in the most fortified one. And yeah, the train has been blown to shit. Because if you notice, so the first rocket blew up the rail that the train was running on, which was merely a safety precaution, because the second rocket actually blew up the train. Which, yeah, was enough. Definitely enough. There was a lot of those badonkadonks, wasn't there? I'm just gonna prepare and then we'll head on through. Next time on Borderlands 2, we actually meet Wilhelm. If really wanted to protect the vault key, it wouldn't be on a train. Oh dear.